हाई इंजीनियरिंग जनता आई एम वैभव शुक्ला एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न मर्ज सॉफ्ट दिस इज अनदर वीडियो इन द फ्री डी एस एस सीरीज दैट वी आर बिल्डिंग फॉर यू सो दैट यू डू नॉट मिस ऑन एनी ऑपरचुनिटी एंड थ्राइव हाई इन योर करियर सो लेट्स स्ट्रेट अवे डाइव इन डीप एंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज मर्ज सॉट टू मेक श्योर दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड इट वेल लेट्स मेक एन एरे एन अनसॉर्टेड एरे ओके uh any random number of columns i would say let's make seven columns how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 fine so there are seven columns now in this array the indices can be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and six. these are the indices however right now these indices you can skip for a while i just showed you these indices so that you get a hang of things how array is indexed fine now i'll put some elements into it randomly some elements 11 3 7 12 15 4 eight okay so this is completely unsorted array am i clear this is unsorted array so how do you implement merge sort first of all divide it into two halves now if you carefully see i had told you that this index was 0 and this index was 6 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that fine so what you do is you split it into two halves say one half is of four elements other half is of three elements these are not equal halves let me tell you had there been six elements i would have easily done two equal halves three at each side right but here either i can split it in a way where four elements are on one side and three on one side or three elements here split in one place and four elements split at one place whatever you like you can do fine so i am splitting these four together and these three together so i'll break them down into halves so what becomes 11 3 7 12 what do i get here 15 4 and 8 right now i split them further now if i split it this can be split into two equal halves 11 3 7 12 right this can be split accordingly see two on one side one element on one side or one on this side two on that side you can do that fine 15 and 4 and here 8 Now I split further. Eleven, three, seven, twelve, fifteen, four, and eight is eight. Of course, you cannot split it any further. Now remember one thing: when you have split it like this, all you need to do is. see in the comparison that whichever is smaller put it before the greater element and then keep on merging what basically i'm telling you is i'll show you wait i'll erase all this so that i can show you how things are merging now i'll merge back from here only okay and we'll reach to sorted array now from here see out of these two what is smaller 3 is smaller so i'll merge and write 3 first and then 11 now merging is happening okay in this direction i am merging okay out of them 7 is smaller 12 is bigger out of them 4 is smaller 15 is bigger and now Eight, you can simply drag up like this. Fine. Now check here: three, eleven, seven, twelve. Out of them, whichever is smaller should be kept first. Then, whichever is greater than the smallest one, but lesser than all of the remaining elements, should be at second place, and so on. Basically, you keep on sorting them. Okay. For those who don't know sorting, 
can check the previous videos what exactly sorting means okay now i merge them in a sorted fashion what will happen 3 7 now i told you first smallest element then an element which is greater than the smallest but lesser than the rest elements which are being merged so this is the second smallest then the third smallest and then the fourth smallest okay or the largest by far now what you do here is do the same procedure merge them in the similar fashion now 4 is the smallest then 8 and then 15 fine now you merge these two what will happen when you merge these two look for the smallest element 3 look for bigger than this 4 then bigger than them 7 then 8 then 11 then 12 then 15 and you get your sorted array this array is fully sorted that is how merge sort is applied but you might be having a lot of questions that how this is happening that when i merge two arrays it automatically gets sorted while merging the whole concept lies there okay first of all we'll understand how the algorithm is working how the merge function is working that is a separate part that will come in next part but first of all understand what exactly is merge sort i can fully relate that right now you might be having a bombarding of doubts in your head in which you might be thinking that how come when i merge these two arrays 3 comes first and automatically 4 holds its correct place how is it happening we'll come to it don't worry there's a magic function called merge which is making all of this happen okay and how that function performs what exactly do we need to write we'll come to it don't worry okay so right now this is how merge sort works i'll show you its code implementation see this is its c++ code implementation what you generally have is you get an array fine you get the left index say this is the array we'll take the same array to avoid confusion fine 0 1 2 3 Four, five, and six. What were the elements that we were having? Eleven, three, seven, twelve, fifteen, four, eight. Okay. Eleven, three, seven, twelve, fifteen, four, and eight. This is the unsorted array that we had. So for left, zero would be passed as the left index because this is the left. most index then you passed the right most index here which is 6 you pass it here and then what you do is you declare a variable as mid this is nothing but you will try and calculate mid so what's happening here if left is smaller than right see if left is already greater than the right extreme then you have already traversed the array it means nothing right so if left is smaller than right you proceed here as mid is equal to left plus right divided by 2 what will it return as this variable is integer this will return an integer value fine see here it is 6 plus 0 upon 2 which is 3 so it says 3 is the mid now i'll erase it out and i'll write it just below this so that you have ample amount of space to see 6 plus 0 upon 2 is equals to 3 fine so this particular index is mid now you are getting it now what you do is you apply the same function this is a recursive call for those who don't understand recursion go ahead first watch the video of recursion i have explained in detail what exactly recursion means in this series you can go ahead and watch it first okay now in merge sort this is the recursive call you are calling this function again with first array as the same basically you are passing the array then the left index okay and then the mid index fine then you are passing the other array in such a manner in which you pass the array you pass the mid plus 1 basically this index mid plus 
one you pass this index and then you pass this right okay so when you pass this and you get them sorted then what you do is you merge a left mid and right finally you start once you have this merge sort function recursively dividing all of them then you basically start merging because what will happen here it will again split the array into two here the array split into two if you carefully see see this is the array being split just a minute this is the array being split see this is the particular array this is one particular array right which is being split so you have to split it accordingly fine once you do this once the array is split what you can have is you see this particular place and such division this is the merging however i have shown you division as well such division will occur at the end so what i just explained you is written in code here okay now what's happening here is in this recursive call you are basically passing from 0 to 3 elements and in the second recursive call when you call this function you are passing from mid plus 1 to right so basically you are dividing it in a half where 0 to 3 index basically these four elements are on one side then these three elements are on one side then when merge sort is called here basically merge sort function is called here also it is called here when you call the same function these four elements that you split i'll mark them with a different marker basically this is the split so this will further this recursive call will further split it okay 11 and 3 on one side 7 on 12 on one side similarly 15 and 4 on one side 8 on one side now when you call merge sort again because until unless this merge sort results in something you cannot come back right you cannot go ahead with this merge statement so what will happen is again merge sort will happen this particular array will break how am i saying it just see this when you passed this particular array this just this division to merge sort what happened array came then left index was 0 and what came as right was mid so basically now this was 3 this particular uh, portion became the right index i'll show you what i'm saying just a minute i'll erase all this and i'll show you how the division is happening so that you get a hang of how splitting is taking place in code okay so now this particular place is right because you have divided it and this is left array is what you have passed here fine now see what's happening when you pass this array with these left and right indexes if left smaller than right again a new mid would be updated and this time 0 plus 3 by 2 which is nothing but 1 because 1 is the integer rest would be the remainder so this becomes mid how it will be split this much for this recursive call again and these two indexes for this recursive call fine so that is how it is splitting and then it will come as 11 and 3 for this partition and 7 and 12 for this partition same is happening in this same is happening in this when you had called merge sort a mid was when mid was 3 and you had passed mid plus 1 which was 4 and right was 6 when you were passing this this particular array had been passed and when you put it here again left and right would be checked left is smaller than right 4 plus 6 by 2 which is nothing but for this particular portion these three elements 4 plus 6 by 2 is nothing but 5 so this would have been mid one split would have been here and one split would have been on this portion where 
eight would have been a separate element. Fine. So this is how splitting is happening. What I'm saying is, fifteen and four would have been split like this, and eight would have been split with them. Fine. So that is how splitting happens. That is how this works. And what you can do is take a paper, take a pen, implement this code. R just implement the recursion of it. Okay, you will understand how the splitting is happening. In the next part, we will understand how the merging starts happening. Right now, I have shown you how division of elements, how splitting of elements happens, and that is why this procedure is called divide and conquer. That is why this procedure is called divide and conquer. This is a divide and conquer approach that we are following. Okay, so go ahead, take a register and start doing this dry run for recursion. You'll understand how this recursive call is playing its part. We'll understand how this merge works. We'll understand with the code implementation in the next part. Till then, do one thing in comments. tell me what should be the approach not the code what should be the approach for this particular function merge what should be the approach to write this merge what should we try solving in merge how can the idea be implemented that we just discussed about merging the elements okay so you go ahead write that in comments so that you understand or you apply a bit of your brain you give it a thought that how merge can be designed how this function can be written this will increase your problem solving skill as simple as that okay so before i wrap up go ahead follow us on the social media handles so that you never miss a hiring update also top 3 comments get prep insta prime subscription for free so do not miss out on that as well and remember one thing if you understood what splitting is in merge sort how the elements are divided in merge sort go ahead explain to the people who need it explain to your juniors your seniors your peers whoever is in need okay keep doing good good will come back to you that's all for today thank you